Okay, this is a good opportunity for me to try using that plasma cutter again. What I'm going to do is notch this piece right here. This is just laying over in the car, but this is going to be part of what my seat and my floor is going to sit on. The uh, drive shaft is going to run right down the center of the car, so I want to make a little notch come out of here. I'm going to mark that and cut it right now, and it'll give me a chance to play with the plasma cutter and see how that works. Okay, I was having a little problem with the uh, breaker kicking off. I had my air compressor and my cutter both off the same uh, thing, so I, I ran the a wire inside to run the air compressor off a different breaker. This is some really heavy metal, and this is the this is the kind of metal where I would use up three gun discs just cutting it once. And I can tell even with this thing, it's it's awfully hard to cut it. Uh, but it's, you know, like I say, it's easier and it's cheaper if this works than the grinding disc, so we'll try some more. And it's a good, it's a good opportunity for me to learn, uh, too. I will say that. Well, I guess I have to turn it on. Dang. <laughs> Well, I just realized what happened here is that even uh, with the air compressor on a separate circuit, I'm still flipping that breaker. I'm going to replace it. I've got a 20 amp breaker in there. I've got 50 amps running from the house out here, and uh, I've got a 30 amp breaker I can put in there. Probably that'll solve the problem. Um, I'll do that, and then we'll come back and we'll try some more. Okay, I've rewired the box. Got the welder hooked directly into a double 50 amp breaker. Uh, let's see if that makes a difference. It actually does make a tremendous difference. I don't hear the air compressor running though. Maybe I shut it off. Probably the sloppiest cut in plasma burner history, but I did it. Uh, I guess that's just how you learn. You, you take a piece of metal out and make a big mess, and you waste a lot of time, and you make a lot of sparks. And I guess in the process of doing that, you kind of learn. It kind of reminds me of, in a way, of uh, cutting with a cutting torch, which I used to do a, a little bit of when I was younger. Uh, I guess the only difference is, and it's a pretty good difference if it's for real, is with a cutting torch, you just see the dollar signs go all the time that that gas is going out of there. With this thing, yeah, you're burning a little electricity, but you're also just blowing a lot of air. And it uh, seems to me that'd be cheaper than uh, buying those bottles of oxygen and stuff. So that's pretty ugly, but nobody will ever see it. It'll be down under the floor on the car, and uh, it'll do. Uh, and like I say, it's a learning experience. I will say this, too. Anybody that wants to teach me how to do this over YouTube, feel free to give me any pointers. Uh, I am open to all suggestions. Amen and hallelujah. Y'all have a nice day.